Lucy, Ted Vernon. Yeah, you, you need to help me. My sister's planted herself here, and she's driving me crazy up the wall. I can't take any more. I need you to help me get her out of here before I have a stroke and you don't have a customer. OK? Work a miracle for me, Lucy. I know you can do it. Now. Bye, honey. Lots of fun, and we know what it takes to be number one. We're just out here in the Florida sun. Ted's got classic cars all over the place. When I was younger, I used to race. We'll be riding high when the day is done. Ted Vernon, please sell me some fun. We got time for a warm up music set, but I would prefer that red Corvette. Ted, will you sell it to me, please, oh, please? I just want those shiny car keys. I've been buying, selling, and trading classic cars for over 40 years. Sometimes you win, and sometimes you lose. You could call it work, but for my team, it's a whole lot more. I'm Ted Vernon, and this is my place, Woo! South Beach Classics. Hey, hey, Ted. I need the title for the car that we sold, the Firebird. I got that. The whole file with the title. OK. I also need your Hemmings magazine to order some parts. Hemmings. And last thing I need is the bill of sale for the car that we sold yesterday. Title I hold. OK. Thank you very much. OK. Thank you, Javi. Hey, how are you? What's going on? What's with your face? That's what I was born with. What's up? So I've been looking around and everything. I was wondering if there's any office work you want me to, like, do for you. I have some office stuff I need you to do. OK. Don't touch anything. It's all organized, uh, OK? I would not think of it. Do not touch I'm anything gonna... on the desk. I won't. OK? Oh, all yeah. right. I'll be back, and then I'll give you some stuff to do. OK. Thank you. Relax. Have a seat. I'm going to. In your chair. <laughs> Bye. But well, he's not here. I'm also check it out, see where I can start. Oh my God. Who would even begin to know where to start? Yeah, this is gonna be some project. Oh my God. This guy Mark Haddock got in touch with me. Really nice guy, I haven't met him. Just a sweetheart, you can tell on the phone. He wants to buy this Model A Ford that I have for his brother as a surprise. His brother's not communicating right now. He's older and he's having some issues and hasn't come out of his shell in a long time. And Mark genuinely feels that with this, he thinks he can bring him back. And that's his plan. Well, it all started when I was about probably five or six years old. We used to have a, a country place. And on the country place, we had a, a Model A 1929 truck. My brother Bill used to drive the truck, and we rode in the back of that truck, and it was a part of our life having that truck. And I thought, he needs something to bring him out. Maybe just go drive around. And so I started shopping about six months ago. I sent an uh, email down to Ted, and, and Ted responded back and said, call me. And I said, uh, I'm looking for a Model A. He said, I got a bunch of them. And I said, but I'm looking for a Shea. And he said, yeah, OK. So I said, OK, well, how about if I bring my brother down and just have him look at it and see if he wants to pick that one out? Because if that's the one he wants, I want to get it for him. So I'm here today to make a deal with Ted on a Model A. You got to be Mark. You got to be Ted. I am. How are you? I recognize you right away. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Beautiful, huh? Yeah, yeah, it really is pretty, isn't it? So we talked before. We did, right? and, and you we... told me the story. Yeah. And I think it's the right car. I do, too. I, I think yeah. that it's, I think. It's serviceable. It has a side mounts in case you get a flat, which you sometimes get. Yeah. I just love this car. It's everything you said it was going to be. And you think it'll help your brother? If this doesn't do it? You're done. <laughs> that's right. I can't do much more. The whole thing is Mark loves his brother so much he's willing to put his money where his mouth is and take a chance. And what works or not, he owns it. That's pretty special, I think. 
If Ted's willing to make a deal, I've got some cash to do that with it, and he seems to want to help with the story, too. I'm in love with the car. I think it's exactly the car that I need to take home with me. And I know you're asking 16.5 for it, and Which I got to make it. Which is real fair. I know, I, I'm not arguing that at all. I, I, I think it is, but will you take 16? I always, 16, 16 I, cash. I always get beat up. You know that? It's really funny. I wouldn't, but your story with your brother, got to go. So you own it, 16 grand, okay? Okay? Thank you. Let's go do the paperwork. Okay. You got it. Thank you. My pleasure. Ted really liked the story. He'd really like doing this. And he wanted to get in on it too. He didn't want this thing to slip away either. He wanted to be part of it. So I think he's got a huge heart. I can't imagine anything turning out quite like this, no matter how I planned it. It's just like, this is super. Um, seriously, a deal like this is very special because the guy cared enough to come here and do this, but he's hoping this will work for his brother. And, you know, it's really, really special. And I was gentle with him for that reason. My buddy Jed Allison called me up. He's coming down. He's doing a film project. He may take one car. He might take 10 cars. You don't know with him. And that's great for me. I've been dealing with Judd for 35 years. Got to be you, Judd. Hey, hey, what's up, Dad? I'm not tall enough to, I'm not tall enough I to drive seen you. I haven't seen you in a minute. No, man. It's I didn't know long. I was supposed to wear my shirt like that. I didn't know I was supposed to wear my Hawaiians today. One's enough. Yeah, OK, OK. This is more of a commercial. Right. It's better for you. Working on a film project that I need some help with, and I'm looking for some period cars. I need you know, some cars uh, from the 50s. Some are supposed to look Havana style and have some stuff carried over from the 60s. You know the game with me. Oh, you know? I've got those cars. You know the game. I'm, I'm looking yeah. to purchase probably the hero car, and then I'm going to rent some background cars, maybe get like eight to 10 background cars okay. that kind of can fit that period. Well, I mean, I, I haven't been here in a minute. I know you're mad at me, but I'm here. Nah, well, someday you'll use me. Finally, you show up 10 years well, later. Well, you know, if I would have known I could have get a shirt like that, I would have been nah, here. Nah, you could you, know. you, ain't, you ain't cool enough. What do you, you want to show me, Ted? I, period cars, like yeah. for Havana? Something like Havana this. Havana style car, that works really well. Yeah, that works. That works. I like that. Yep. You know, the big problem a lot of times when I, when I walk around Ted's is he, he hides the good stuff somewhere and then you see a bunch of bags all over the place. So I took a little walk. I saw one or two cars I might be interested in. So we'll try to see if we can work something out and see if I can uh, find something good. Judd and I have been walking through the lot. He picked a lot of cars that he thought he could use for this movie. And he was looking for a hero car. And I have a 57 Ford retractable hardtop convertible that's mint. And I said, you got to see this car. This is my favorite part coming to see you. When well, you take me to these little secret rooms and I get to see the <laughs> stuff that, uh, that you hide away from me. That's what I'm talking about, Ted. Look. I like that, too. Look. Oh, there she is. Yeah, that's, you know, I think you kind of nailed it. This is, you can't get better than this. 57 hardtop convertible. 57. You know, the trunk opens, top comes up, the flap comes down. Yeah, the trunk Interior comes up, this whole top kind of goes back in. AC. AC. Yeah. The car's amazing. It's a Skyliner. So after going through this game with Ted, I knew that he had something stashed for me somewhere. He took me to the back room after walking through everything, and sure enough, the perfect car that I wanted. 1957 Ford Fairlane, retractable top, mint condition, air condition. See what happens, you know? Maybe keep the car for myself. I love this car. Yeah. Well, what's, what's my price range? Um, low 30s. Well, a little high for me. That's probably not going to be your car then. Yeah. It's that good a car. I can't, can't replace the car. Cannot. Dual spots. I'm like in the 25 range. No, nah, I can't. Gotta... Not on this one. I told Judd that it's 30 grand. It's got to begin with a three, or I can't sell it, and I won't sell it. And he understands I'll work with you on the other cars on the rentals. I'll, I'll save you some money. But I got to get 30 out of that car. I can't sell it. Cannot. I will give you a break on the rentals. That could work. Of course it could. For me, I have a budget that I need to be able to come up and have a hero car and all my background cars. So what I'm trying to do is to still see if I can work it out. I don't mind coming up a little bit more on the price in order to make this whole deal work. And 
Ted kind of understands that, I think, in the back of his mind, because he knows if I'm going to rent these cars, he's going to get them back. Ted, let me, um, let me text these guys. I mean, I think this is a winner. I think this, I think this car works, and I, I, I'm, they're, I'm, I'm out there today to find something. So if I can get a permission. Looks like, looks like you did, bro. <laughs> you came to the uh, right place. Sure. Oh, but one more thing. You're going to have to throw in one of those shirts for me. I mean, I, no, I can't. You know, you know, you got to have a certain It's a lot of money. I need to get a, I need a shirt like that. I'll trade you. That, that I do. Okay, that hold works. on one second. Yep. Let me get, get it done. Get a couple more picks here. I sent, I, sec, I text those off. Let's see if they, they should answer pretty quick. It's the exact car they were looking for. I had to go up the chain to go make sure that I could get permission. Um, they were happy. They gave me permission to purchase a car for the price we wanted, as long as Ted gave me those background cars at a discounted rate. I think I, I, think I can do the 30, as long as we can work something out with those other cars. Is that the okay? I got the okay, I can buy this car right now. Okay, then, then this is yours, 30 grand. I'm okay. gonna, last thing now tomorrow. I'm gonna give you a break, I already heard you. I wanna pull it out, I'm just gonna send my guys over tomorrow, let them just start it up. I'll have it out and ready. As long as the thing's running and good to go. I'll have it out and ready. We got a deal. Not a problem. Thank you, Ted. Judge just got the approval, the deal's done. He owns the Ford. I'm gonna cut a little bit off the price of my rentals. We're all good to go. Ted was asking a little bit more money than I actually wanted to spend, and he's chewing up my whole budget, but I was able to make it work. We were able to do both things. It worked for Ted, it worked for me. It's a great day for Miami movie cars, great day for the movie industry in Miami. My producers are happy. We're moving on. John. Oh, oh. Hello. Do you like your new office? Just finishing. This desk is brown. I never knew the color. Yeah, um, I need certain documents. Um, I organized them all into my file folders for you. Put labels on them. Yeah, but right now I need things. What do I do? Well, that's, that's, uh, not me. I, I filed them logically. Shut up. Not a word out of you. I'm gonna need an invoice for the parts that we ordered yesterday. Whoa. Um, I, uh, 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 I had it on my desk. I, I know you had everything I on your desk. Was. You have everything on right, your desk. Right, but he, he needs the invoice. Okay, so and there's a filing cabinet right outside there in the other office. Everything is in there, nice file folders. If you're looking for an invoice, there's a folder that says invoices. That's all you gotta do. And then I'm gonna take that and narrow that down and do it by month Why don't day. you do me a favor? Uh -oh. Since you set it up and you've done a beautiful job, go with him now and find the invoice. Okay. If that's what you want, it should take me about three seconds. Yeah, okay. So it's all organized, labeled, everything. So I'll take Harvey and I'll get the invoice for you. Can you also teach him how the system works? I can, but I think you need to learn. No, I'll never learn. It'll take you five minutes, no, alphabetical. It won't, it won't happen. Just A, B, C. I, I know the alphabet. Come on, Javi. I know who the important guy is here. Let's go. See ya. She walks like a penguin. 